Hey, have you ever felt the need to enhance the look and appearance of your sexual organ at some point? I know this may sound a little weird, but the truth is, hundreds of men and women in India every year persuade doctors to do exactly this. Hi, my name is Sangeet Sebastian. I have spent the last 12 years reading, writing and researching on sex. Today in this video, I am going to talk to you about cosmetic gynecology and this craze for looking good down under and find out if it is actually worth it. Joining me in this conversation today is Dr. Sarita P. Naik, a urogynecologist and a VVOX expert. At VVOX, a platform which we started in January this year, is aimed at providing medically accurate and scientific information on sex. I started VVOX channel in February after realizing that a vast majority of doctors in India are not qualified to treat sexual difficulties or provide sexual advice as there is no sex education or sexual health training in the Indian medical curriculum. So if you like what we are doing, please consider subscribing to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you are reminded of my latest videos. Did you know that the penis of the legendary French military general, Napoleon Bonaparte, was hacked off by the doctor who was performing his autopsy as keepsake? Well, not that Napoleon's penis was particularly good looking or something. The Time magazine described it as something looking like a maltreated strip of buckskin shoelace or a shriveled eel. At least many today are determined that they are going to leave behind better looking genitals. Cosmetic gynecology, also known as aesthetic gynecology or functional gynecology, is a subspeciality of gynecology which deals with external appearance of our female external genitalia. It uh, may involve uh, the skin tone of the private parts, it may involve dealing with the size proportions of labia majora, minora. It may be how clitoris appears, it may be a uh, hymen which people may need to recreate for various reasons. So it deals a lot with the, the needs and desires which are largely unspoken. But these days women are opening up, they are more vocal. Yes, it's not only women, it's even men these days. We often hear from our patients to, you know, they are looking for solutions and some ways to increase the size of penis. We are living in an age when people want their private parts to look as photogenic as their faces. A few years ago, the Tamil Nadu government launched a free breast implant program for women, which also included cosmetic implants. The argument given by the Tamil Nadu health minister was that even poor women has the right to look beautiful. Absolutely, sir. But what accounts for this craze for better looking genitalia? There is absolutely nothing wrong with your penises, vulvas or vaginas. They are meant to look different and comes in all sizes and shapes. The way they look has got very little to do with the actual sexual functioning unless of course you have some biological deformity or a medical situation. Also, many cosmetic procedures don't guarantee any results. Some can even be harmful. But that hasn't stopped people from going for it. Why? Often we hear uh, from our patients, women in our clinics, that their partner want them to do it. The partner expects the vagina to be a bit more tighter. Uh, the partner expects that, you know, with some kind of weird comments that the skin of your private parts is not as fair. Can you do something about it? So I'm just curious and I want to fix it if it is possible. Designer genitalia or uh, Barbie genitalia or certain kind of prototypes. Now these ideas people get from internet. Definitely pornography has played a huge role. Uh, the unrealistic expectations there because they see, you know, people performing their being involved, getting involved in sexual acts for unrealistically long hours, long durations. They see big size uh, male parts, big penises, 
uh, over fair skin at the private parts for a female very fair skin so uh, many times these unrealistic demands are coming because of expectations to match which are being served on these sites on the channels on these platforms so yes designer genitalia as fancy the term is it is as unrealistic we have to clear the set boundaries while we counsel people what to expect because it depends a lot what is the basic the genetic the original uh, uh, the the type of skin a person has the basic tone which a person is born with one cannot expect unrealistic drastic changes usually the color change which is possible is hardly one tone or two tones down that what the original external skin has so people expecting that cosmetic gynecology or aesthetic gynecology or peels in genitalia or bleaching of genitals can suddenly make them fair and it will look as what is shown in a pornographic pic it's not possible it's not possible because uh, they cannot change what your basic basic tone is what you are basically born with because yes there are people who actually have body image disorders and they are just not happy with what they are born with and there is a very strong need to match certain you know film characters movie characters their own imaginations so it's very important to have a very good psychological evaluation that where is this need coming from and is it a genuine need which if addressed will actually make a difference to a patient's quality of life or is it coming from a very unrealistic expectation which may not be fulfilled so it's very important to mark the boundary that one is not dealing with a psychiatric condition or a psychological disorder now as far as it's a mutual decision and the woman happily is doing certain things to build up the relationship it's acceptable as far as the safety norms are taken care of and there is no harm done to the private parts of the lady after careful selection of a patient it's fine but it's very important to understand that fixing genitalia may not fix a broken relationship fixing a g spot by prp or uh, doing a clitoral surgery tightening the vagina may not fix the underlying relationship issues so it's very important if a clinician or a surgeon or a gynecologist or a cosmetic gynecologist come across a demand from a patient which is sounding a little bit not sure it's good to get the partner in the counseling session and understand what exactly the couple is demanding from each other are these needs desires realistic can they be fulfilled and how safe these procedures are for that particular patient so there you go fixing a private part doesn't necessarily save a broken relationship thank you for watching please do subscribe to my channel for more informative content on sex and sexual health until next time this is sangeet sebastian signing off for vvox just sex no prejudice